And with OpenAI, at least, it just gives you an answer and you can always be like, hey, I want a different one. So this is a pretty cool way to implement that. It's just going to make the order. It's going to be a market order and then it's going to sit for five days and then it's going to check if the data data frame close I lock negative one is which is pretty much the price is less than the last SMA 40 then it creates a sell order so what I would need to do in order to actually get this functional is I would have to call this a bot so like say def bot like this and as you can see, like this is another thing that, you know, I, I also got really excited when I saw it write code, but without being able to know how, without knowing how to code, it's, it's going to take some change tweaks and changes. So like, you're going to, you're kind of going to need to know at least the basis of how to code. Now, this is weird that this didn't get pushed with it, but. So if this needs to be sent over as well, it's weird how when you indent, it doesn't always indent correctly. And that's like, for me, when I was first getting started, indentation was tricky as well. So, you know, my overall summary of this is essentially ChatGPT is like a, an expert noob coder. Expert as it has all the information needed but it's also a noob uh, in the fact that you have to like really massage it and to get the right answers. And so now I put it into a function and now I can say, hey, let's loop this function forever.